to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kara, and today's video is going to be a little bit different video for me. So this is like a full face video of just Wet n Wild cosmetics. So everything that you see on my face here is just Wet n Wild. So I, this is a new video for me and I was like super excited to do this video and I had been thinking about it for a while and I just feel like the Wet n Wild brand has like really stepped up their game and brought out new and great products at such a great entry level uh, price point for the beauty market. So I was like, why not do it like a full face of some of my favorite Wet n Wild products and also try some new stuff because you never know what might work for you. And honestly, like there's some things that almost seem like they're a dupe for a dupe. I know, crazy, right? Okay, so I kind of zoomed you in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I went ahead and there's some Wet n Wild products that I have tried before and then some I have not. So I am going to, as I go through it, I'm going to tell you if I've tried it or not or if I haven't. Um, so let's go ahead and just, I already have cleansed my face, so I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Matte Primer. I have not actually tried this one before, so I'm interested to see it. I have tried the NYX Matte one, and I didn't really honestly care for it, so, but I also... I want to make sure before I say like I don't think a matte one would work for me that I actually try it. Go ahead. And this one does feel different. This is more of like a cream versus the NYX one that I had tried was more of it almost kind of looked like you were putting Crisco on your face. It does kind of... I can definitely like feel that it's making my face like super super matte right now. I can like feel it like in my pores. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is different. Certainly different. So okay, well I'm interested to see how that actually really works. You never know, it might be like a really great primer. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photos photo focus foundation so this is a little bit of a darker color for me right now this is buff bisque um, I really like this foundation I think the coverage is really great I love the kind of um, this one I've had for a little bit but I love that it kind of has just like a scooper as like the um, applier so it's not like a pump or anything so you can kind of like when I usually do it I just kind of go through like this you can definitely tell this is like too dark for me but we'll make it work and there is a lot right here so I just kind of go through my face and like put little drops of it all throughout This will be more than plenty. Definitely have some breakouts happening, so we'll cover those. So I don't have um, a wet and wild sponge, so I'm just going in with my real techniques. So just start to blend this out. the foundation on I'm going to go in with so this is the photo focus concealer this is in the shade light ivory so I usually use concealer as also an eyeshadow primer so let's see how this one is I have not tried this primer or this um 
uh, this concealer either. So I'm excited to try this. This is usually where I put um, my concealer in this same format every time. I usually use my, um, this is definitely, I can definitely tell like this color is too dark for me, this foundation, but um, I usually use my Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just going back in with my sponge and I'm going to blend this out. to do is I usually do my brows so this is the retractable brow pencil this is in the color medium brown 627a so this one actually kind of reminds me of the L'Oreal one that I love to use all the time so because it has the triangle tip on the end and the spoolie on the other end so this could be honestly like I mean that the L'Oreal one is like maybe like eight dollars or so and this one was probably like three or four so it could be a dupe for a dupe you got your triangle tip there and then you got your spoolie on the end so I usually kind of like it when it's all in one so let's see I usually comb out a little pencil it honestly like it's super easy to use you can make like little strokes with it I feel like it's actually like a really good pencil the formula of the pencil is a little bit more thicker a little bit um, maybe not as like glide it doesn't glide as well as the uh, L'Oreal brow pencil but um, honestly for like three or four bucks however much this was I'd have to say that it was actually really good Okay, so moving right along, the next thing I'm going to do is the um, eyeshadow. So I left the eyeshadow to now. Sometimes I do it before I put on my foundation. Sometimes I do it at, I'm, I'm just like all over the place. I don't really have like a rhyme or reason of why I do what I do. But I feel like the Wet n Wild brand is a really great introductory brand, especially like if you're just getting into makeup and you're just trying to like figure out like what you like or what might work for you. And it's definitely like an entry level price point. I would say it's probably of all the drugstore makeup, probably the best out there that I've tried at this entry level price point. 
With that being said, also, they have a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes and stuff, but also, if you're just learning how to do your makeup and you're not really sure what colors to use where, this is actually a Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. This is the Sweet as Candy one. And I'm not, I'm hoping that the camera will pick it up. But if you can see there, it actually says like where you need to use these um, colors at. So you have your transition, your brow bone, your crease, and your eyelid. So especially like if you're just learning how to use um, colors and learn how to blend them and stuff, these are a great way to just start, you know, learning how to do your makeup. So I'm going to come in with the transition shade right here with kind of a fluffy brush and just put that all over. And then I'm gonna come in with the <clears throat> little bit more of an angled brush here for the crease color, which is very similar, maybe just a little bit more shimmery than the transition color. But we're just gonna pop that right into the crease. All right, and then we're going to come in with the eyelid color, which is this pink shade, uh, a fluffier blush, <laughs> blush, brush for blending. And I'm just going to work all those uh, really just like lay it on thick here on the eyelid and just have it blend into that crease and transition shade. And then I'm going to come in with more of a fluffy brush again. This is the Alamar Cosmetics one. This is doesn't have a name, but it's just more for blending. And I'm going to come in with that brow bone, the kind of whitish tone and I'm just going to put that up into my brow bone and I'm going to try to soften out that line a little bit so actually it looks kind of cool I really like these kind of um, eyeshadow palettes like like I said like if you're just getting into makeup and trying to learn different things and how to use different products and these are really really great for you so I'm gonna do the other eye real quick and I'll be right back alright so I went ahead and did the other eye too and also what I like to do too is just take my finger in that brow bone color and you just kind of like pop that into the corners of your eye just to kind of like brighten it up a little bit. Certainly helps to kind of make you almost look a little bit more awake too, which sometimes I do this in the morning to fool people. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm super awake. <laughs> they never know. Okay, the next item I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild. This is the felt tip eyeliner. This is in the color black. Here is your eyeliner. And then you just have your felt tip. So very fine tip. So I'm just gonna kind of line the top of my lid um, and just try to define that out a little bit and see how, see how this works. So, oh yeah. It's definitely very moist, so let's... Okay, so I got the eyeliner on and it definitely, like, it worked really good. I just have a tough time with it because of... This is weird, but I have like a lot of like extra skin on my eyes. So like that's what makes my eyes look a little bit hooded and stuff. So I usually don't wear a lot of like eyeliner on the top just for that reason. So the next thing we're going to do is the mascara. So this is the Wet n Wild Lash Out Loud 10 times the volume mascara. This one I have not tried before, so I am interested in trying it. All right, so here is the mascara. This one has the silicone bristles, and I'm actually like really excited to try this one. So let's see how this one does. 
Okay, so I got the mascara on. Honestly, I'm not really a big fan of this one, the Max Volume Mascara. I don't really feel like it, it definitely felt like it elongated my lashes, but I don't feel like it really separated them very well. I felt like they kind of like clumped together a little bit. It's not really the look that I really want. Um, I don't know. I'm not not digging this one. And it definitely like the bottom lashes de need at least like two or three coats to actually like make it look like there's actually something on there. I don't really think that this would be my favorite mascara. So definitely not a fan of this one. So the next thing I want to do, which I was actually like kind of sad about, but I have a couple different options here that we can use. So I bought this um, palette. So this is the contour um, contouring palette. So this one has a little bit of a lighter color and then the darker um, for the contouring. Um, I wasn't like exactly sure how this would look on me because they're both like super matte colors. So I actually had bought this one too, which I'm really sad to show you, but it crumbled all apart. It's all like, I haven't even opened it yet. I must have like dropped it at some point and it all shattered. But anyways, this was the other one that I had bought. So I'm obviously not going to open this. I'm just going to throw this one away. But while I was waiting for my battery to charge, I actually had to go over to CVS um, because I want to do a physician's formula video like this too. So I wanted to go buy some stuff. So I went ahead and just bought um, a couple, a new bronzer. So this is actually one of their new ones. This is the, this is, it's the same thing as this. Uh, this one was the Ticket to Brazil, but this color is the um, Palm Beach Ready. So I went a little bit lighter on the bronzer just because I'm a little bit more fair right now. And this one has, I think this one had like some shimmer in it too. I honestly can't tell because it's so dusty in there. But this one definitely has a little bit more of a shimmer. And I also realized that I hadn't bought um, a pressed powder. So I got this Photo Focus pressed powder. So I'm going to go ahead and dust this one on my face. I don't know if I'm going to use this one. I think I might just stick with the Color Icon one and just chisel, chisel out a little. But let's see how this one is, this um, pressed powder. So I went like super, super fair on this one just because I know it's gonna come out light anyways. So I'm just going to take this Aesthetica P12 brush and just kind of dust it on in there and then put it all over my face. to kind of like fill in some of the shininess that might have been happening since I hadn't um, sprayed it yet. Don't really feel like that's a necessary thing to have, but let's go ahead and go in with the <clears throat> Color Icon Bronzer. This is my favorite um, sculpting brush. This is the Firma 103. Obviously it's uh, well loved. So what I usually do is I just kind of like tap it ever so lightly because this is a new color for me so I don't really know what it's going to look like. And I literally, I make a fish face. I go, and then you can kind of see where your natural contour line is. And I just slowly start to dust like right up to my hairline. actually look a really good shade for me. I'm glad I went lighter on it. Take it on like the side of the brush and get a little bit on there and I do a little contouring on my nose. Make it look a little slimmer. I usually come down along my jawline and then I just dusted a little bit along 
my hairline up here. And I try to come down the side to connect it to where I brought it up here. I don't really feel like this is a super dramatic look that needs like a super contour. So this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. This is in the shade Pearlescent Pink. This one is, I feel like, a little bit dark for this look, especially since this is a little bit more smoky and light pink. So I'm not going to go super duper heavy um, with this brush, but I'm just going to, I'm going to take the Luxie 514 blush brush and just, and I usually do like just make the apples on my cheeks stand out a little bit and I blend into that contour a little bit. Really like this um, blush brush too because it's like super fluffy and it's not like super dense so you can kind of definitely get that like wide range of motion versus like this uh, contour brush is a little bit more dense and now my favorite part highlighter my like favorite highlighters are actually I think this was in my 2018 favorites this one is in the color blossom glow um, I have like I think I've used on camera a lot okay stop focusing on my face um, I've used on camera a lot the um, precious petals color um, but this is a new color for me I have not used this one yet so I usually like to dust obviously on the top of my cheekbones down my nose on my cupid's bow my chin and then I usually come up here sometimes I do oh, um, right under my eyebrows but since like part of that eyeshadow palette was that um, more of that bone color uh, to bring out the um, highlight under the brow bone. Alright so this is the Luxie Tapered Highlight 522 brush. I, this one is definitely more of like a pearl um, essence to it. So just like right on top of that blush to highlight that cheekbone. down the news on the end on the chin love it mm. all right so you're for your final touch and I know I've talked about this one I believe also in my 2018 favorites video this is the wet n wild uh, liquid cat suit um, this is like a matte lipstick <clears throat> so this is in the color rebel rose I love 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 these they last so long and I think they're like five something in the store so I highly highly recommend these for a lip color and I love this shade to the rebel rose because it's more of like kind of like an everyday shade or if it's just like if I'm traveling or something this would be the color that I always throw in my bag just because it goes with like everything you could possibly wear okay so there's the color on I freaking love this look I feel like this was like such a super easy look to achieve and it's super inexpensive too all right so I also bought the matte finish setting spray so let's go ahead and set this face Ooh. holy oh holy geez that sprays a lot Whew. Oh my gosh, my hair is all wet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Woo! That is definitely going to mat your face down. Woo! So if you like this type of video, give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out so you never miss when a new video comes out. I love doing these type of videos. This is my first like full face for you guys of just like one brand cosmetic and I feel like this is like super, super fun and like I feel like I can give my like honest opinion about the products and how they work for me. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a comment below. I'd love to interact with you guys. And until next time, bye.